One of the areas that I feel like so many people in creative services really struggle with is return on investment. When businesses or clients are just really looking to get a new piece of content done, yes, they want to be able to attach it to a return on investment. But to me, I feel it can be a huge distraction to the opportunity that that content can create. Honestly, I feel that ROI, especially in the type of videos that we create, is impossible to track. However, I do feel that it's possible to predict. And I wanna dive into a few examples as well as a framework that I think can make video work a lot better and we can get closer to predicting what that return on investment looks like and to feel more confident investing into services. Now I know video, that's what I can talk about. And as someone who provides that service but also practices that service, I have a few things that I feel like makes a big difference in the way that we approach video content when we're making it and why we're making it. There's such a huge struggle because I think when you're looking at emotional storytelling, if we're looking at ROI, we're looking at sales, we're looking at revenue, and really the foundation of everything I talk about is video content should be creating a relationship. And it doesn't happen in one pull. Maybe it will in some cases, but for the most part, it's a lot of little micro touch points over time that build trust, that build confidence, and eventually you get to a point where someone trusts you so much that they wanna hire you and they wanna work with you. That has been the case with me time and time again. So when I look at marketing, when I look at content creation, I'm not looking at it as I'm gonna make this piece of content and it's gonna make me money tomorrow. I'm looking at it as how is it enhancing the relationship, building more trust, and really getting people to see eye to eye. There's two parts to getting to the ROI side of things. There's the plan and then there's the action. So when we think about the plan and the action, there are really three core things that make a big difference in making those things happen. To me, the first thing is your project, your videos, your tools need to have utility. How are you gonna use them? Why are you gonna use them that way? How's that gonna enhance the experience? When we start from the utility, that makes a huge difference. Anytime I'm producing video content, I'm really trying to think about how is this gonna be more helpful to me? So instead of how is this gonna close a sale, maybe we can look at that return on investment is how does this help build the relationship more proactively? It's a piece of content that can create more connection. How is it gonna save more time? Is this something that I'm answering a question over and over, or this is something that people don't really know a whole lot, and this is something I could proactively put out there? When it comes to all these things, when I can put more of myself out there, this is removing some of the resistance because it's building trust. I know I hit that point over and over, but it is so true. Films, they need to have utility. Second to this, messaging. You know, you'll hear it time and time again, but anytime I'm producing a piece of content, rather than thinking I'm making this content to get as many views as possible, which is where most people come from, I'm creating content that's very one-to-one. -one. I'm trying to think about when I'm gonna make this. I wanna be talking as if I would be talking to someone one-to-one. -to -one. One to one is going to change the dynamic of how you show up, how you speak, how you interact, and the way it feels to perceive. Now, this is that emotional storytelling piece. I really wish more brands, more people would consider how are people going to feel consuming my content? Showing up one to one, having this one to one relationship, it's going to be subtle, but it's going to be a huge difference rather than just vomiting a bunch of information, rather than trying to be aspirational or saying the thing that's all over your website or copy that you think is clever. You got to be able to say it straight. You got to be able to say it in a way that feels authentic to when you meet these people. When I put out a piece of content, I want it to feel like me because at some point in time, if they're going to hire me, they're going to meet me. And I want it to feel as an alignment with who I am and the way I speak and the way I treat people. That way, there's less resistance, there's less friction. This one-to-one -one mentality is gonna go so much further in getting not only the right information out there, but it's gonna make that message feel the right way. These two pieces, they're the plan. Getting that utility right, getting the messaging feeling right, plan. Be intentional about these things. And then the last piece that goes into the action is use. I can't tell you how many people get amazing things done and they don't use them. Now, I don't mean, hey, you upload it to YouTube, you put it on your website, it's used. 
I mean, how is this going to fit into a system? How is this going to fit into your workflow? I think this goes the furthest. You know, we're making pieces of content. Sometimes it's to enhance our blog. Other times, maybe people are reaching out for the first time, and this is a great film that's going to catch them up to speed and make sure our values actually make sense. Maybe it's something that we're going to build into our proposal. Maybe it's something that's going to be on a landing page. Give your films more usage. This is going to offset that ROI. When you get something done and you only use it in one place, it's not going to be successful. I'm really trying to think about how much shelf life does this content have when I'm going to make it? How is it going to enhance that relationship? And then actually using it. You have to be an action taker. If you're just going to come up with, hey, this is how it can be used. This is how great this thing is, but we never physically use it. There's not going to ever be a return on investment of time, energy, revenue, any of those things. So we have to come up with a plan. We have to put it into action. These three things are the core things that you can do for even the simplest videos to make a huge difference. Now, I wanted to share an example that we've actually used just to show that I'm not just coming out of theory, but we have actual use case from these things. A handful of years ago, I was thinking, I wish our clients knew us better. And this really led us to what if we just made a thought leadership series? What if we shared our values, the way we think and the way we approach things? Initially, I was just thinking, I want to put myself out there more. I want people to meet me before they meet me. Shortly after we made a handful of these videos, one of them in particular really was something I was like, this feels like the philosophy, this feels like the feeling that most of our clients should see us with. So in our music video business, JCP, we did 50 total, but one of them, it has around 380 views right now. And that one video, I loved what the message was there. And I thought, this is a great film to use as an introduction when people reach out to us, hey, watch this video. And then also to follow up in our proposals. We started embedding that into our proposals. We started making that kind of a core requirement of when someone reaches out, you should watch this to get to know us before we ever get into pitching a project. I've probably embedded that video in 100 proposals it's probably made an impact on at least closing 25 of our deals. Now, this is what I mean by ROI. I can't physically trace it back to anything, but I do know in a lot of our clients since 2020, when they've hired us, they've said, we like these things about you. We like what we're about. It's not just about, oh, you do high quality work. Your videos are pretty and we want that. People are hiring us because of the people we are. Just some quick math, you know, from 2020 on, I would say our average ticket value, it's probably around $7,000. And if 25 of those projects are closed because of that video, you know, we're looking at $175,000 in revenue. And one key thing that I really, really, really want to emphasize is that video didn't do all the work. Nowhere can I point back and say this video generated that revenue. But I can say it's a part of a system. And this is what I really mean by video is like, it can't do everything for you. I'm human. People hire me because of me. I have to have conversations with my clients. That makes a huge impact on the way they perceive us, the way that they can trust us. You know, we're a relationship-based business. I'm using video to enhance that relationship, whether that be embedding a video on our website, whether that being in a blog, whether that being in a proposal, whether that being in an initial email or message on some platform. I'm making these videos to be tools to help me meet people better, more authentically. I want to be as proactive in building that relationship as possible. So this one video I can trace back to, yeah, 380 views isn't a lot, but my goal isn't to get a ton of views. My goal is to enhance relationships with this content. Peeling back the layers a little bit more, we have 50 videos in that thought leadership series. Most of them have less than 10 views. Some of them have over 50. A handful of them have thousands of views. Some of them connect. Some of them are getting organic reach just being on YouTube, but a lot of them are custom tools that I'm using to proactively build our relationship online. I think my core takeaway outside of doing those three things is just realizing instead of going after some big initiative, realizing that like we can self-produce, we can take small steps, small things stack up to make a lot of momentum. So don't discount doing the small things. Don't discount who you are. Don't discount the, the unique things that you bring to the table. When you can kind of bring your expertise, your personality, who you are to the mix and doing that in small ways, Sure, it might not get tons of views, but it is going to have a ripple effect on your business. There is going to be an ROI. It's just not going to be as trackable as you'd like it to be, but you got to be willing and brave and bold and know that the work that you're putting in does have a payoff. 
Sometimes you got to dig a little deeper to understand what that is and to get a little more strategic. Got to have a plan. You got to take action. Make sure you give your films utility. Build them into a system. Give them a process. You know, make your messaging one to one. Communicate with people as if you're talking to them one to one. And then lastly, put the tools to use. Get more creative. You might even be sitting on content right now that you could be repurposing and redesigning to get more gas out of that content. Thank you.